All living things, plants, animals, and humans require clean water. As users of water and citizens of our Earth, we must take responsibility for our impact on water quality. Earth Echo International recognizes that education and awareness are important first steps toward action. Take the World Water Monitoring Challenge to test the quality of your waterways, share your findings, and protect our most precious resource. Let's get started. Select your site. Choose any lake, stream, bay, or location where you can safely monitor. Here in Coronado, California, we're going to test the San Diego Bay. Our plan is to test the water monthly or after a storm and publish our results locally and with monitorwater.org. The first thing you will test for is turbidity. Turbidity measures the water's clarity. Debris, sand, silt, and other materials can make the water less clear or more turbid. Turbidity can impact the aquatic ecosystem by affecting photosynthesis, respiration, and the reproduction of aquatic life. To test turbidity, plunge the container below the surface. Turn the jar into the current and allow water to flow into the jar for 30 seconds. Cap the jar while still submerged. Be sure the water level is to the fill line. Hold the turbidity chart near the top of the jar and compare the Secchi disk icon in the jar to the chart and record the result. Temperature measures the warmth or coldness of the water. This indicator is important because it affects dissolved oxygen, photosynthesis, and the food supply. Waters that are too hot or too cold can have severe effects on fish and other aquatic life. To test temperature, place the thermometer four inches below the surface for one minute. Read the temperature, the number with the green background. Record the number in degrees Celsius. Dissolved oxygen measures how many molecules of oxygen are in the water. Since oxygen is important to fish and other aquatic life, higher dissolved oxygen readings support more diverse species and a healthier ecosystem. Low levels of dissolved oxygen can weaken or kill fish and other aquatic life. Submerge the small vial into the water sample. Carefully remove the vial from the water sample, keeping the vial full to the top. Drop two dissolved oxygen test tabs into the vial. Water will overflow when the tablets are added. Screw the cap on the vial. Make sure no bubbles are present in the sample. It will take about four minutes for the tablets to dissolve. Next, wait five minutes for the color to develop. Now compare the color of the sample to the dissolved oxygen color chart. Record the results as parts per million. Now we can find the percent saturation by using the chart in your information booklet. Locate the temperature of the water sample on the percent saturation chart and the dissolved oxygen result. Find the intersection of the two. This is the percent saturation. pH measures how acidic or basic a liquid is. pH is measured on a scale from 0 to 14, where 0 is most acidic, 14 is most basic, and 7 is neutral. A pH between 6.5 and 8.5 is favorable for supporting life in neutral waters. Fill the test tube to the 10 milliliter line with the water sample. Add one pH wide range test tab. Once the tab is disintegrated, compare the color of the sample to the pH color chart. As you can see, the World Water Monitoring Challenge is simple and easy to do. It only takes about 15 minutes to complete all tests. Remember to also make note of the air temperature. Maintain a log of all results to share with your community and with monitorwater.org. I hope you'll take the World Water Monitoring Challenge. All you have to do is test, share, and protect our waters. I look forward to seeing your results.